Here's how to change the keyboard font on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you wanted to use a different font, maybe an italics or a bold or just something crazy that basically is not default to the normal iPhone, I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks guys. Now, the first thing we'll do is head into your settings and there's a font section. So tap on general here. And then if you scroll down, right under dictionary is fonts. Tap on that and you can see system fonts. These are all of the default system fonts on here. If you like any of these and you want it to be an option on your phone, you need to tap on that blue download button. So just tap on the blue button and it will basically download that font. And you can tap on any of these to kind of see what they look like. Now let's go back here. You can also just choose my fonts if you want to go to the app store and download your own custom fonts. After you've done that, you have those fonts pre-installed onto your phone. Let's just open up, for instance, mail and tap on to send a new email. On here, I can tap on the AA right above the W. And then you can see right under bold is default font. I can tap on that and I can choose any one of these different fonts that I have downloaded and installed. So you can see if I scroll down, I can choose any of these cool ones and basically find one that fits, let's say Thornbury. And I can say, hi, how are you? And you can see it uses that font. But let's say you're not using a text message or not using an email, you're using a text message. Now, when we're in the text message messages app, for whatever reason, Apple decided to allow you to change the font in your email, but not in here. You have some options in here. You can tap and hold where it says iMessage with the blinking cursor and tap on text effects here. And you can choose to bold, italic, underline, strike through, or you can have all of these text effects like make the text bigger or smaller or shake or anything like that. But unfortunately, you're fairly limited in the types of different fonts and options you have to customize and control the text messages in here. So you have a lot more options within the email app and basically it's app to app, whether you do have the ability to change that font or whether you can just simply bold it or italics or something like that. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks guys.